Hello Year 10s, this video is all about something called ocean currents. Okay, so we're going to begin with a bit of a mystery. Um, here we have a map of the world. Now the arrow on the left hand side over here is pointing to a place called Newfoundland. Um, Newfoundland is a, a region of Canada, okay, so it's 47.5 degrees north of the equator over here. And this arrow is pointing at a place called the Isles of Scilly. Now the Isles of Scilly are part of the UK. Um, there's some islands found to the southwest of the UK. Uh, they're normally the warmest part of the UK, and they're about 49 and a half degrees north of the equator. Okay, so we've got these two locations. Um, you'll notice they're both on the same line of latitude. Okay, and what I mean by that is they're the same distance, roughly, from the equator down here. Okay, so we'd expect them to have a very similar climate. But here's a picture of Newfoundland, and here's a picture of the Isles of Scilly. Okay, so very different climates, and we would we wouldn't expect them to be different because of the same uh, on the same line of latitude. So what we're going to try and find out today is why do they have these different climates? And it's all to do with something called an ocean current. Okay, the best way to think about an ocean current is it's a bit like a conveyor belt or a river of water that flows in the ocean, okay? Um, if you've seen Finding Nemo, you'll know that Nemo gets into an ocean current uh, that goes towards Australia, and that's this ocean current that I'm pointing at on the map over here, okay? Um, so ocean currents can be warm or cold. So the ones in red on here are obviously the warmer ocean currents, and the ones in blue are the colder ocean currents, okay? So that essentially they're just uh, conveyor belts or rivers of water, uh, currents of water that flow around the oceans. Okay, so how do they work? Why do we have these uh, currents moving around in the ocean? Here we have a diagram showing uh, the ocean. On the left-hand side over here, we've got the North Pole. So the, this is the North Pole over this side on the left. And on the right-hand side, we've got the equator. Okay, so the more we go to this in this direction, closer we get to the equator, okay? Now the basic idea here is that um, hot things rise and cold things sink, okay? And if you need proof of that, when you heat up water in a kettle, the water turns to steam and rises out of the kettle, okay? Cold things do the opposite, they sink uh, downwards, okay? So at the North Pole, the colder water is denser. It also has more uh, salt in it, and that makes it denser as well. So the denser water, the colder water, sinks down to the bottom. As it sinks, it moves towards the equator. Therefore, it pushes the hot water out of the way, and the hot water rises, and it comes back towards the North Pole. Okay, so we've got a bit of a conveyor belt here. Cold water sinking, warm water rising, and that's the ocean current. Okay, so the one we need to know about is called the Gulf Stream. Okay. The Gulf Stream is the ocean current that affects uh, the British Isles and affects much of Europe, in fact. Um, and it originates, it begins down here in the Caribbean. Caribbean, very warm water. Um, if you want to go somewhere on holiday, uh, it's a great place to go. Very, very warm seas around here. And that warm water, there's an ocean current that comes from the Caribbean and it flows up towards Europe and it keeps Europe much, much warmer. Okay. Um, sometimes it's called the North Atlantic Drift, but we normally know it as the Gulf Stream. So how does it actually work? How does it affect the climate in the UK? Well, the Gulf Stream uh, brings warm water to the UK. That warm water then heats up the air above it. Okay, so the heat rises from the water and it heats up the air above it. Then the winds that blow over the UK bring that warmth, bring that, that heat across the UK and they warm up uh, the UK. Okay, and the Gulf Stream, in fact, keeps us about five degrees warmer than it would otherwise be. So if we think back to those pictures of Newfoundland and the Isles of Scilly, the main reason why we have that different climate is because this warm ocean current called the Gulf Stream comes towards the UK from the Caribbean and keeps us much warmer. Right, on to uh, an exam question. So quite an easy one here. Explain one way ocean currents affect the UK's climate. Um, it's worth two marks, so it should be point and explain. So can you pause the video now? 
have a go at this in your head or write the answer down and restart the video when you're done. Okay, welcome back. Here would be a model answer. So the UK's climate is hotter due to the Gulf Stream. This is because warm water from the Caribbean heats up the air above the UK. If you have any further questions, please speak to your geography teacher.